Hey, welcome back to the studio. Today, we're going to be talking about Harry Potter and what are we actually talking about? <laughs> well, we're going to, there's some, there's a recent article about the writers for the upcoming Harry Potter series on yes. Max. And in our opinions, I, at least from what we've talked about, and especially in my opinion, I feel like this is the beginning starting point that can make or break the series right mm. when we're talking about writers they're good writers that aren't super woke or or, or won't just bend to the will of executives yeah. um is a bit slim pickings it feels like these days in hollywood and so when it comes to choosing your writers to to choosing how the direction of the story is going to be dictated by these people that is yeah. a really important decision and they're in the process <laughs> of making this decision um, yeah especially for a project like this which is a long-term project mm -hmm. yeah uh, these this is an important decision so in deadline uh I, I just thought we should look at at the four writers they've they've named to basically pitch their vision of the adaptation for these books their adaptation yeah. what direction they take it what do they put focus on yeah that kind of thing there is a lot and of stuff in the books that uh, i feel like perhaps different people would want to uh, explore explore and tell a, yeah. a, a few more of those stories that maybe got glossed over or right. that they felt were more important to the overall story but making like, it or breaking it is are we exploring or are we rewriting right well i mean for example they they never mentioned that harry potter's dad is an animagus okay um they they oh, in just, the movies you mean yeah in the movies yes. they completely gloss over it but i mean it's all there in the movies like you know the the worm tails and animagus and black is an animagus but they don't explain that they did that so that they could hang out with lupin while he was a werewolf and keep him calm <laughs> right right and, yeah and that's all good story uh and it would be interesting to see if you know some of these writers kind of want that in there right okay so so the these are the the four writers that they are currently considering or asking for pitches from once okay, they pick okay. the one they like they will move on to the next uh, rounds if you will for deciding their their version or their their take on the story i thought we should go through their work and kind of see a try to try to give ourselves a gut check based on their past mm, work okay on if we think they might be a good fit all I'd right. also like a, you know keep in mind I do believe that Rowling is still slated as like to consult on this whole thing. Yeah, but what right. what does that mean? That well, that mean, I consult mean, could mean very loose. Uh, I I just want that to be you know in the forefront of people's minds because depending yeah. on what kind of writer that this person is, how is that going to mesh with uh, J.K. Rowling? Yeah, with her story in the way that she told the story, right? So the first one we have is Martha Hiller. Okay. Okay. So Martha Hiller has uh, best known for Hobby ha uh, Hobby City, The Last okay. Kingdom, Vera, which is and The Last Kingdom Seven uh, Seven Kings must. Yeah, The Last Kingdom uh, is is people enjoy it. I yes, know that, actually, I know a lot of people enjoy it. I started The Last Kingdom. I didn't have a innate problem with it. Okay. I will say. If you think if you think the first season of Game of Thrones is a bit sluggish, no, I will agree. No I think I've seen bits and pieces from the first king, <laughs> the Last Kingdom, from the and first it's a bit season. Sluggish. Slow the, the first season. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the Last so Kingdom think is not bad. It just is moves slow. Yeah. It doesn't grab. But there's your lots of shows. There's right? lots of shows that are slower in the first season. That you know, you I can sit it. through Andor and freaking enjoy it. I didn't yeah, but I mean, what about what about the first season of uh, The Last Airbender? I had to retry three times. Right. Because yeah. it's a kid's show. Understandable. Uh, <laughs> is, lots of shows are like that. You, sometimes it takes a little bit of time and patience. So I, mm -hmm. I'm not mad at this. With The, the Last Kingdom there that mm -hmm. I have sampled, I get a feel for the writing to an extent. It definitely feels time period. It, it doesn't feel like it's disrespectful or too, you know, too lefty kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely feels like something that I could vibe with probably. I, I'd like to, and keep in mind, these writers are really trying to, they're, they're, they're these are tryouts, right? Yeah. These are all, writers that have some decent 
creds or not very many creds, and they're mm. trying to make their accreditation be the Harry Potter Max series. Oh, I, so would, I, mean, I would be too. That, that's they are, a big They are thing. fighting for this, right? Mm -hmm. They're really fighting for this. The next one is Kathleen Jordan. All right. Uh, that's it, though. So the known for credits is writer for 2019 American Princess and mm -hmm. 2020's Teenage Bounty Hunters. Neither of those sound like anything yeah. I could envision doing Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, Except but for maybe teenager, teenage. Yeah, maybe. teenagers. So there's something really. There's something to be said for that. Um, the 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 Harry Potter definitely has that kids to teenage mm. kind of Feel. vibe that you really need to have in your story. Right. Um, it's a it's an important part. It's not the most important part, and I wouldn't hire a writer based on that solely. I right. I would I feel like maybe maybe her credits would be enough to be like a an assistant writer. Well, check this out. She didn't write for Teenage Bounty Hunter. She produced her. She's a producer for it. Okay, yeah. She was I a feel writer like for American Princess. I feel like maybe as maybe a, a an assistant writer or something. Mm -hmm. Um. I, she has more producing credits than she has writing credits. Right. I would definitely mm -hmm. want her as not as my main writer. Right. If I had to hire this person, I feel like I, I could probably hire two other people and not be worried. The next one is Tom Moran. Moran? Moran. 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 Yeah. All right. The f there. So this guy's a writer his top credits are his writing. So the feed. Okay. Romancico. Right. Uh, Wild Bill and the devil's hour. I haven't seen any of these, so it's really okay, hard. They're for me all to shows read. and stuff. Let's see. Series short TV mm. series, TV series. I will say this. I don't know the quality of these, but like mm. six episodes, two episodes, one episode. He's got some series in six episodes. He's got some series writing, uh, experience. Yeah. So at least episodically, right. hopefully if it's quality writing for these shows, at least episodically and character development inside of a TV show format, he's he has some experience there. Right. And not completely inexperienced like we do see people hiring for a lot, right? right. And I kind of feel like Kathleen Jordan's a little inexperienced. I, yeah, compared that. to compared to the last girl, mm -hmm. this one's he's got so I feel like having a couple episodes is something. Right. Yeah, especially on like one project where he's yeah. done multiple things for Devil's one Hour, project. He's done like yeah. six episodes on that. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like that was his big, big to do. All right, so Michael Leslie. Okay. So writer. So the screenplay adaptation for The Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Okay. okay. Assassin's okay. Creed, right? Yeah, Nobody like okay. that one. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. He almost should be taken off of this list for that. <laughs> For, for that. that alone. All right, 13 Lives and Macbeth. 13, what's 13 Lives? Is that? Mm, let's take a look. 13 Lives. Oh, I did watch this. Wow, this was a really well yeah. done script. It's a Ron Howard film. Ron Howard directed this. I didn't. Mm -hmm. He's the writer yeah. for this. With Vigo really? Mortensen. Yeah, that's yeah. why I recognize it, because Vigo's in it. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't I seen the whole this. thing. I watched, uh, but I've, I've is, heard that this is very, very good. I This is incredible. This is mm -hmm. an incredible film, 13 Lives. It's really intense, and it's talking about cave diving to save people's lives. Yeah. Oh, is oh, yes. I know this story. Very intense, and it's such a good drama. And Vigo is incredible yeah. in this film. Um, but no, this is really good. I definitely put I definitely put between 13 Lives and the adaptation for Hunger Games, Songbird Yeah, Sing, yeah. I put him at the top of the list. Um, yeah, Netflix. he's he's got the most experience, okay. and and even with even with Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, um, it should be called Assassin's Creed: The Search for Mormon. <laughs> uh, even with that black stain on his record, that could definitely yeah. have been you know a learning experience for him. So like, to never ever do that again, right? So between you know I mean, Martha Miller, Kathleen Jordan, Tom Moran, yeah. and Michael Leslie. So 
Tom seems experienced with TV. Michael just seems like he's done some pretty good script adaptations, like mm. for the Hunger Games, and he wrote a great script of 13 Lives. Martha yeah. Heller um, seems – she did, you know, The Last Kingdom. Mm-hmm. I definitely put Kathleen mm-hmm. Kennedy at the oh, – no, Kathleen Kennedy. Kathleen, Kennedy. <laughs> Kathleen Jordan, my bad. Uh-huh. I don't want to put Kennedy. Jordan in the same category as Kennedy, but you guys do share a name. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kathleen Jordan at the bottom of the list as far um, as – what was the first I would agree. lady's name? Martha Hiller. She did The Last Kingdom. Yeah. See, I feel like if I were to hire, um, you know, they're they're definitely going to be hiring more than one writer. Let's for say this. they hire. They're, yeah. They're, they're going to be hiring. They're going to be hiring probably more than one. I don't know that it's yeah. going to be both like all people from this list. I would hire Martha and um, Michael. 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 Yeah, I would hire Martha Michael. and Michael. I would agree. Yeah, those would be I'd the play, Last Kingdom, Eminem. That'd right. be their their, their writing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, their writing yeah. team. Yeah, D and D. I also, on, on Game I of also believe that I also believe that uh, um, writing teams uh, are important. Like two people writing together, two competent, good, creative. Yeah, people. it's yeah. good so that you can bounce ideas. They should be different kinds of writers, right. but um, it's so that they can bounce ideas off of each other. Uh, and get that sort of consensus with what they're trying to write. I personally really hope that they, over at Max, that they choose good writers in the same way that they chose really good writers and directors to pull in for yeah. House of the Dragon. You know, that Max has done yeah. some really good projects and, and that are ongoing. And I want them to see use that same discretion. Mm-hmm. When it comes to when it comes to this show, mm-hmm. and and be smart with who you're choosing because this is a big deal. Well, one really of the things I, I I know that uh, lots of shows, lots of movies have uh, taken a dive in recent years, but um, I don't think HBO has been criticized a ton over the writers that they're hiring for their films, except for Velma. Except for Velma, but that's <laughs> that, that is true. That, that's Mindy Kaling. That was her whole thing. Which also Max canceled the rose leslie time traveler's wife and that was my favorite thing they might have ever done <laughs> yeah <laughs> next to the game next to you, house of the dragon and thrones so they I, I can't believe they chose to cancel well that. look one of those shows got hate watched and got views and the other one didn't get any views and got and, canceled so yeah. <sighs> well if you guys enjoyed us uh talking about this um let us know in the comments down below what you think do, are these writers worthy of picking up the pen or, mm. you know, typing on the keys for a new Harry Potter show that's going to be coming out soon? Let us know what you guys think. Um, and if you enjoyed this, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time. Mm-hmm.